Jason Allen this afternoon, the official welcome ceremony earlier today. Jason, I know some prominent names included there. Uh, tell us more about this wonderful gift that is coming to North Texas. Doug, some prominent names who have had some, some success, really, at building new homes. And obviously, one of them still under construction back here behind us right now. And the new museum expected to be in this same space within walking distance of the homes of the Rangers and the Cowboys. Bruce Crandall's helicopter evacuations from Vietnam. Patrick Brady's flights through heavy fire to rescue wounded. Doc Ballard's jump onto a grenade to save his unit. Their stories were a preview Friday of the 3,500 that will be on display when the Medal of Honor Museum finally arrives in North Texas. And it's not about valor. It's about the values of these people who wear that medal. And it's to realize that recipients did so much more than what they did in combat. It has been a battle for the museum's foundation to see its vision realized. Past designs and a site in South Carolina didn't work out. But with Texas congressional members backing it and with the owners of the Texas Rangers and Dallas Cowboys as supportive future neighbors, an opening in Arlington is expected within five years. And with the national attitude that I see today, this is more important today than it's ever been in our history. Personally, as well as, if you will, the NFL, I'm going to say it for sports. Thank you for this opportunity. Give us a chance. Put me in, coach. I'm hot. Jerry Jones promised to lend the valuable exposure of the Cowboys' national TV presence to build awareness of the project, which is expected to be far more than a collection of stories from combat. We want a kid to walk in the front door and walk out the back door, a different person, knowing that he can be a hero and he doesn't have to go to combat to do it. The next step for the museum foundation will be to choose an architect, choose a design, something that will fit into the space here in Arlington. They expect to do that within the next year. Live in Arlington tonight, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.